In this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the use case diagram for the topic restaurant management system. So the first step is we need to draw the actors in a use case diagram. So minimum three actors at least you have to use in drawing a use case diagram. So minimum of three should be there. Okay, so what are actors? Actors are mainly related to the topic that is given to us. Here if it is restaurant management system, the actors should be related to what? It should be related to the restaurant only. So how will you draw the actor? You need to draw the actor like this. You are supposed to draw the actor like this. So the first actor can be restaurant. Because in restaurant management system, restaurant is very important. Restaurant plays the vital role. Because first the building, the restaurant has to be there first. Next, next actor can be customer. Customer is mandatory, right? Customer is also an important actor. Because without customers, the restaurant can't run properly. You can't run a restaurant properly without customers coming there. So customer is one actor. Restaurant is one actor. Next cleaner. A person should be there for cleaning the restaurant. So cleaner is an actor. So cleaner plays a vital role. Okay. Because cleaner is also very very important in restaurant management system. Because you need to clean the restaurant Without cleaning the restaurant, proper hygiene is not maintained means you can't expect customers to come to your restaurant. No one will come to your restaurant if the restaurant is not kept clean. So cleaner also plays a vital role. So these are the three actors for this use case diagram. Restaurant, customer and cleaner. So make sure the actor is always represented with this symbol. So you should draw this symbol and then Below that symbol, you need to write the name of the actor. So, total three actors are there in this diagram. The second step is for each actor, separately we need to write the use cases. If you take restaurant, we need to write the use cases for restaurant. If you take customer, you need to write the use cases for the actor customer. If you take cleaner, you need to write the use cases for the actor cleaner. So, now if you take restaurant... In restaurant, the main, the first main thing is welcoming the customers. So you need to welcome the customers. So I need to write that inside oval shape. Okay, so this is the use case. Use case should be written inside the oval shape. And this use case should be related to the actor which you are mentioning here. So restaurant. So in restaurant, you have to welcome the customer. So you have to join this actor and this use case. How can you join this actor and this use case? You can join using connector. What do you mean by connector? A line. So from here I'm drawing a line like this which is touching the use case. This is known as a connector line. Connector. Connecting the actor and the use case. This use case should be related to this actor only. Make sure of it. Okay. Next. Get order. In restaurant. They will get order from the customers. So get order. So this is one use case. So draw the connector. Next, prepare the food. After getting the order, you need to prepare the food which they have ordered. Write this inside the use case. Inside the oval shape and join using a connector. Prepare food is also very important, isn't it? Now, for example, if you have ordered mutton biryani, after you giving, after you placing an order, they have to go prepare mutton biryani. So that is the preparing food, prepare food. Okay. Next, serve food. After the food is ready, you need to serve that mutton biryani to the customer. So you are serving food in the restaurant to the customer. So join this using the connector. So these are the use cases. What are all the use cases? Welcome customer, get order from the customer, prepare food for the customer and then serve the food which you have prepared to the customer. 
So these are the use cases for the actor restaurant. Next, let us look into the use cases for the actor customer. Customer can search for the restaurants. Now there are many restaurants. So they might not have a good idea about most of the restaurants. They'll be knowing only very few restaurants. So now this time they want to try some good restaurant, some new restaurant. So they are searching for the restaurant. So when they search, they get to know other new restaurants which are there in the city they are living in. So the customer can search for the restaurants because they want to try something different. So they are searching for different restaurants and choosing the best what they want. So now I'm joining this customer and this use case of the actor customer using a connector line. Next view menu. So the customers they'll view the menu. What are all items? What are all the food items that are available in this particular restaurant? That is the first step that they do because they want to see the menu and then whatever they like they will order that. So now join this using the connector. Next place order. After viewing the menu, they'll place the order for the food which they like. So join this using the connector. Next make payment. So after ordering the food and after eating, the customer needs to pay the amount for the food they have ordered. So join this connector. I mean using connector. Join customer and make payment using connector. So these are the use cases for the actor customer. First they will search for the restaurant. Then they will choose the best restaurant. Then they will view the menu inside the restaurant. In order to know what are the food items that are available in this restaurant. Next whatever food has impressed them. Whatever food they have liked. They will place the order for that food. After placing an order they need to make payment for those orders so these are the use cases for the actor customer next what are the use cases for the actor cleaner so cleaner will clean the table cleaner will clean the table so this is one use case next cleaner will clean the entire restaurant also so these are the two use cases of cleaner actor okay so cleans the table and cleans the restaurant so this is your second step next is your third step what is the third step you need to mention the stereotype what are the stereotypes there are two stereotypes one is extend and one is include what do you mean by include include means mandatory it has to happen what do you mean by extend? Extend means it might happen. Sometimes it is not necessary that it has to happen. It is our wish. We can do or we can also ignore and leave it. Whereas if you take certain things, it is mandatory. You have to do that for sure. It is a mandatory one. Okay. So now see this search for restaurant. So in this line, I'm putting these two things and I'm writing extend. Extend means it is not mandatory. Now searching for restaurant by the customer is not mandatory. Some customers they are very much fixed. They want to go to this restaurant only. So when they already have an idea that they have to go to that restaurant. They need not go and search for the restaurant. They need not look at the list of restaurants and choose one. Because they have already fixed one restaurant in their mind. So searching for restaurant is not mandatory when the customer has already fixed in their mind that they have to go to this restaurant today. So this is extend. Extend means it is not compulsory. If you want, you can search for the restaurant. Otherwise, you need not. So some customers, they will search for the restaurant. Some customer, they will not search. They will go and eat in the restaurant which they are comfortable with from before. Next, view menu. This view menu is also extend only. This is also not mandatory. Now some items, no, they are very general. They will be there in that restaurant. Now if you are going to a restaurant, coffee, tea, it is a basic thing. It will be there in all the restaurants. So now I want to drink a coffee. So I am going to that restaurant. 
I'll directly ask them that I want a coffee. I won't uh, look into the menu and then I won't say that I want coffee, right? Some people, they look into the menu, they will look into the price of the coffee and then only they will order. But some people, they will just like that say that I want coffee. So it is not mandatory. It is not necessary that all the customers, they have to look into the menu and then only say that I want this uh, food. It is not like that. Without looking into the menu also, some customers will say that I want to order the biryani, I want to order coffee, I want to order juice. So some people will tell like that also. So this is not mandatory. Looking into the menu is not mandatory. Some people, they will just like that tell without looking the menu. Some customers, they will look into the menu and then only place the order. Next, make payment. This is include. Making payment is mandatory. You have to make payment for the Order which you have done, definitely you have to pay. Ordering food and eating and then you can't move out of the restaurant just like that, right? Payment is very important. It is mandatory. So, include for that. Next, serving the food. Serving food is also include. If you have ordered a food, they cannot prepare the food and keep it somewhere and they can't ask the customers to go and take it from that room. It is not like that. You have to go and serve the food to the customer because they have placed an order at your restaurant. So you need to take it to your table and you need to serve them that food. Next, cleaning the table and cleaning the restaurant. For both, you need to put include. For both, the stereotype is include because it is mandatory. You have to clean the table, clean the restaurant. Cleaner has to do both the jobs. Mandatory. The cleaner cannot say, I'm, today I am not going to clean the restaurant. If you are not going to clean the restaurant, if it is going to be so messy, obviously the next day the customers will not feel comfortable sitting in that restaurant. So these two steps are mandatory. That is why we have written include stereotype. Next, after placing an order, preparing food. This is also mandatory because after getting the order, you need to prepare the food for sure, right? Because you have told that this particular food is available. So when the customer has placed an order on that food, definitely you have to go and prepare that food. It is mandatory. It is not optional. You have to prepare. Only if you prepare, you will be able to serve that food to the customer. So it is mandatory. So these are the stereotypes for this use case diagram so this is your third step there is one last step that is your system boundary you have to leave these actors and you need to draw a big box like this leave the actors outside don't include the actors inside the big box which you are drawing so this big box is known as system boundary so this system boundary is important. Actors alone should be outside the box. The rest of the diagram should be inside the box. The name of this is system boundary and you need to give a name for this system boundary. You need to write the name over here or over here. So the name is restaurant management system. So this is the name that I am giving to this system boundary. So these are the steps in which you have to draw the use case diagram. This is the final diagram for the topic restaurant management system. So the first step is you need to draw the actors. The second step is for each actor you need to write the use cases and join it using a connector. The actor and the use case should be joined using a connector which is a line. That is your second step. Third step is you need to mention the stereotypes which is include and extend. Include means it is mandatory. It has to happen. Extend means it is optional. It can happen or it need not happen also. The last step is drawing the system boundary which is a big box. Leaving the actors you need to draw the rest of the diagram inside a box. Next last step is you need to give a name for the system boundary. The name should be related to the diagram which you have drawn here. So this diagram is related to restaurant. So I'm giving the name as restaurant management system that should be written inside the system boundary box only. So this is your final use case diagram. I hope this video was helpful for you.
Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends.